I think in pictures a lot. And uh, one time I, I, I got this, this vision of this um, huge orphanage. And this, uh, this kingly man was walking up to the orphanage, um, getting ready to take, take home a child. And he walks through the doors of this orphanage. And, and uh, what he sees when he opens the door is a huge long line of, of orphans waiting to be, um, to see if, if this is the one that's going to take them home. And uh, this kingly man uh, walks up and down uh, this long line of orphans. And in this line are some of the most beautiful, good-looking, well-dressed orphans you've ever seen in your life. And in the far corner, he sees uh, a little boy that is standing a little bit further back from the rest of the line. And that little boy has dirt on his face and his clothes are not anywhere as near as, as nice as the other kids. And, and he's just kind of standing behind the line because he's so used to being passed over he doesn't even step up to the line anymore. And this man walks over to that corner and he, he walks past all of the beauty in this line. He walks past all of their great clothes and their charisma and whatever they have to offer as though it means nothing to him. And he walks up to that little boy in the corner and he extends his hand and he says, you, you're mine. I'm going to take you home. And he takes that boy home back to his his home, to his kingdom. And he strips off all of those tattered rags. He strips off all of those tattered clothes and he gives them fresh, white, spotless, perfect, kingly robes to wear. And he says, you are mine. Enjoy it. You are my son and I am your father. Now go out into the world and tell them of what I've done for you. And man, I, I'll tell you, I think sometimes as Christians we can we can forget what he did for us. The word of God says that our righteousness is like filthy rags to him. That our best, our best day, our best attempt at perfection, our best attempt at holiness is filthy to God. But I think sometimes what we try to do is we try to take those old rags that we were in, our sin, we try to put those rags on just in just the right way to make us look like we have it all together. And we can rest and we can judge and we can think whatever we want as long as we're looking okay on the outside. And Christ is saying you're missing the point of why I came no one is righteous, no, not one. Your righteousness is filthy to me. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you saved. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you sanctified, are you made holy. And so, I'll be the first one to admit I've got issues. <laughs> and I've fallen. But I have a savior. A beautiful savior. And he's longing for each and every one of us. And you can have him tonight if you just ask him to come. I know a captain who conquers the sea. 
he is a warrior and a lover is he as strong as the ocean but as gentle as a breeze he's full of redemption lucky for me me from kings and queens alike at an orphanage full of the best and bright I was tattered and filthy cursed by disease no one would want me the way that I had read but he walked right up to me Got to his knees. He held me like treasure. I thunder to thee. Cause I am a wicked child. Sinful and foolish am I. But you picked me from kings and queens of hell. And an orphanage full of the best and the Full of the best and bright.